Good morning. I grew up Lutheran, Missouri, to be exact, coming out of a suburb in St. Louis. My husband, Jim, had a similar start growing up in Southern Illinois. In the early 70s, we moved to Minnesota with our two-year-old daughter, and we met up, we were Germans, mostly. We met up with the Swedes and Norwegians and found a church home in the ELCA. I know Bethlehem as my home, and I know you all as my family. Through the years, I've gotten to know and love any number of LGBTQ plus folks, and this is why RIC, Reconciling in Christ, is so important to me. My first awareness of the LGBTQ plus community was meeting a lesbian couple who were presenters at a conference that Jim and I attended 44 years ago. Though Paul and Bill, the bachelors, at the end of my growing up street 60 years ago, were probably a gay couple living quietly. A co-worker felt safe enough and came out to me. And as a counselor at West High School, students who were trying to make sense of their sexuality allowed me to listen. In her mid-twenties, while in seminary, our daughter came out to Jim and me. I cried then, and I was scared. Jen was most certainly loved and accepted, but there was this mom thing in my dreams, a wedding, marriage, grandkids. Today, Jen is happily married to Jane, our good and loved daughter-in-law. We are Grammy and Grammy to Eliza and Alice, and all of my dreams came true, but they're just different. Jen, having been in seminary, her call committee in Southwest Minnesota told her, we think you're a very good candidate, but if you want to be a pastor, you can't have a partner. That too changed when it, the ELCA voted in 2009 to allow the ordination of ELCA pastors in committed relationships. Jen is now lead pastor at University Lutheran Church of Hope in Dinkytown in Minneapolis. I know that LGBTQ plus and straight people all have the same needs. All of us want to feel safe and accepted and unconditionally welcomed. My hope is that Bethlehem will continue my story by becoming an including, reconciling in Christ congregation. Recently, when the task force began writing a welcome statement to include LGBTQ plus people, we got a nudge from Jesus, from the Holy Spirit, with the message, if Bethlehem is to be a welcoming church, don't stop there. The task force invites you to come to an RIC forum today at 9.30 in the Heritage Room so you can read the welcome statement and have time to, to share and discuss with us as we become a, become a Reconciling in Christ congregation together. I love Bethlehem, and this is my story.